All right, how are you all doing? What a great time we live in. Just stuff just randomly crops up. I'm like, oh no, I'm actually gonna have to think of something. No, you don't, we've got you covered. Thank you, internet. Yeah, it's great. So, I'm probably going to title this video something to the effect of, I've joined the Free Software Foundation because reasons. And I have. <laughs> I've just been scrolling through some feeds, which you shouldn't do. You shouldn't do. I'm, I'm sat at my computer. I'm, like, oh, I'm just going to go through some of my feeds. And somehow I found myself on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter. I just retweet things to annoy people. And, uh, and I've, I've, I've found it, it's, social media annoys me. Everyone knows this. I get so angry with people online. It's, it's great because I hate double standards. And then I come across a tweet from 2019 ish social media has made too many of you comfortable with disrespecting people and not getting punched in the mouth for it it's true <laughs> so many double standards so many whiny whiny people online and i understand that i come across as whining quite a lot but i will always admit if i'm being a bit of a hypocrite if I criticise you and I've done something like that before, I'll say, yeah, I've, I've kind of done that, I get it. Just maybe not do it again. <laughs> and if you've got a repeat history, just... Ugh. We all say stupid things. That doesn't mean that you need to organise an internet lynch mob to, you know, damn people for it. And also, just because someone hurts your feelings doesn't mean you get to jump up and down like a spoiled child. And cancel culture is what this video is technically about, but all that really is a bunch of grown-ups having childish temper tantrums. You said something that I don't agree with, and yet if you spend 15 seconds on anyone's social media feed, they're going... They are probably the biggest assholes on the planet. Hard fact. Just saying. So, I joined the Free Software Foundation because I'm just being a, a dick. It doesn't benefit me in the slightest. I doubt it benefits the Free Software Foundation in the slightest. But the groove is, the Free Software Foundation was started by a chap named Richard Stallman. And he believes in the, the software freedoms, which eventually kind of... There's there's a, a couple of different things in, in the software world. You've got uh, free software, open source, and then other stuff, the proprietary stuff, Windows, Mac, um, and all that. Linux kind of gets divided between uh, different groups. You know, are you for open source? Are you for free software? And, well, Stallman, Stallman is basically, you know... <laughs> Every, everything is free. Like, everything has to be free. If there's code, it's free, it's out there, you have the right to change it, and, and all this kind of stuff. Just look him up, right? But the guy said some crazy stuff over the years. The guy is crazy. Bless his cottons, he is absolutely mental. He's the guy that won't use programs if, they, if the code ain't available, he won't use it. If, if the BIOS isn't completely free, that computer don't get touched. The, the guy lives by his, the, by, by his, by his, um, my brain's gone. The thing, <laughs> the thing, he's got a set of ideals and he, he sticks to them, man. The guy's absolutely like, he's, he's, you know where you stand with Richard Stallman, but over the years, he said some crazy things. Cancel culture is a thing, and I mean, he said some really crazy things. Make it, let it be clear, I do not agree with the majority of the things that Richard Stallman says. I just don't. I think he's funny. Bless him. I think he's like this bearded, ancient tech wizard that has skills that I can't even begin to comprehend. But he says some crazy stuff, like we all do. Okay, but just. 
he got kind of booted from the Free Software Foundation a while ago. He's he's a phobe. He's an ist. He's a this. He's a that, and and disappears. Recently, he's come back and said, "I ain't leaving again. No chance." And I was like, "Yes." Don't let other people online tell you what to do. There's just no point. This is not how I wanted this to go at all. I'm just like, ah. I saw the tweet and I was like, yeah, mate, go for it. I joined the foundation, the Free Software Foundation, because free, it's not as in free, like, price. I mean, largely there is. It's about freedoms. You have the freedom to do what you want with your computer without being dictated what you can and can't do with it by the people who write the code for your computer. So if you want to do it and you know how to do it, do it. If you want to do something and you know someone who can enable you to do it, do it. Uh, just look up, just look it up, please. Just look it up. I, I can't really explain it, but the, the whole thing is, I'm showing a little bit of support, even though I don't agree with the guy, because I dislike cancel culture entirely. You are allowed to say whatever you want online, realistically. But understand, like that tweet says, someone's going to deck the shit out of you if they disagree with you strongly. But then that also doesn't mean, like, that means that someone else can then deck the shit out of you if they disagree with you. But the, I don't understand why we all have to have such paddies and hissy fits about something that is completely, wholly irrelevant. Your politics do not define you as a person. Random stupid things you say don't define you as a person. I say some really out there stuff on stream but I believe in being cool with everyone. So, just because people disagree with you doesn't mean you can get rid of them. It's really, really weird. Times change. People change. What was okay 10 years ago may not be now, but you can't rip someone apart for saying something that was normal a decade ago, a decade ago. I mean, there are probably some things that my grandparents thought and said back when they were younger that you just don't say now. But I can't criticise them for saying it then. Even now, like I say, if someone offends you, you can't pull up a lynch mob. You can't have a paddy. You can't be a child and have a paddy. There's no, there's no discussion in cancel culture. There's no discussion about it. There's no, let's get together and like discuss what's maybe not a thing here. It's outright demanding that people go away. Just leave. Like, no, we don't like what you said. Nothing you say will make it better. Go away. You and everything you care about must be struck from existence. Or they start to use this silly stuff like, well, everything we do is now going to be degraded by association with this person. And that's what a lot of people in this... There's, there's recently been a letter going out, or a, uh, like a, a Git post, about how, uh, like, sign this because we want to get rid of Stolman again. Because he says really, really nasty things. Or really, really stupid things, right? Which don't matter. Really don't matter. But just because someone says some really daft out there things doesn't... It, it doesn't make the things that you do any less of an accomplishment. Like, they, they don't. It's like saying that NASA... And I, I hate... I'm going to do that thing that people do on the internet. That, that people do. They, they I'm bringing up Nazis, all right? It's like NASA saying that they want to completely disassociate themselves with the guy that literally, the rocket. Oh, but he was a Nazi. Yeah, but that doesn't degrade the things that you've done since. 
Stallman lives his ideology. He lives it. Probably, like, I have never known someone to be like, here's the line, and here's the line, I'm walking it. I will not deviate. He's made the rules. You know where you stand. You know where he stands. There's occasionally some out there stuff, but, you know, you know where he stands. And yet people are surprised. It's like the old Bill Burr joke when he's talking about the, the, the old man that bought, like, a sports team. He's like, the guy was ancient and then said something remotely racist. No, what, that was the Duck Dynasty guy, wasn't it? It's like, what did you think he thought? He's like an old man. What did you think he thought? Like, oh. But now everything these days is an ist or an ism or whatever. And it bugs me because we, 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 we break everything down into such small, trivial, insignificant things. You know, race, religion, gender, all that bollocks. None of it really matters. Your politics don't really matter. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't. Let's just, let's just agree to disagree and then get shit done. Find that middle ground and get stuff done. I, 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 I don't understand why that's so hard to, to do. Some of the things I really liked about code and computers and all that, how freeing it was from that kind of stuff. You're not judged by your race, your gender, your age, your religion, it, any of that, because none of it's important. All you usually, all you were back in the day when I was a kid on the internet was a name, a handle on a screen. You were text on a screen. No one knew how old you were. No one knew if you were male or female or anything in between. No one knew any of it. They didn't know. You could be a 12-year-old talking to, to, to professors. If you had that groove, that passion, everything just went, it just went together. It's the joy of being a citizen of the internet. Now, though, you say anything online or IRL, the world goes to pot. It goes mental. Christ, if, if people saw some of the stuff, I guarantee you, Look back at some of your timelines to when you were like, if any of it exists, like when you were a teenager or whatever, you probably said some right brutal stuff. But does that mean I can judge you for things you said a lifetime ago? Anyway, I disagree with a lot of the things that Richard Stallman says, but I support the fact that he's back at the Free Software Foundation. I, you know, I, I don't see it as that big of a deal. And I figured for a laugh, I would, uh, I'd, I'd join the Free Software Foundation. Oh, I like the Free Software Foundation. I like the, I like the stuff around the Free Software Foundation. The idea that in the free, the Free Software Foundation and the open source movement and and Linux and stuff like that. The thing that I find so cool about this stuff is literally that, unlike it being so, uh, if anyone's read Eric S. Raymond's uh, Cathedral in the Bazaar. The idea being that you've got these big, big corporations that control computing and all that. You've got your Microsofts, your Apples, you know, your Dells, your whatevers. And they've got like these very strict, structured things. They make amazing things, but you've kind of got to be cut from that cloth to get in and see how it all works. And then you've got the bazaar. You've got guys like me, people like you, folks like... Stallman and, and, and all these other crazies out there. And we just think, rather than waiting for someone else to do something that we want, rather than waiting for someone else to make the thing that we want, we make it. And we put it all together. Like, we just, oh, mate, that'd be really cool. Let's do that. And then someone else goes, and this would be really cool. I'm going to do that. And then all of a sudden, it all gets mashed together. And somehow makes this wonderful thing that just somehow, against all logic, it works. And it comes from everywhere. The code doesn't care who you are. 
at all. It just works, hopefully. And as, uh, to me, that's that's absolutely beautiful that people came together and made this stuff. And now you've got the same groups of people getting really overly tetchy and childish. You could be, you could be, you can be racist. You can be transphobic. You can be whatever. Like it, it doesn't matter. That's that's you. That that's that's you. Being ist, ism phobe whatever just do your thing right but just just keep that out of the other stuff you know i just like when people say to me about you know oh but they're ableist what about if they're ableist i don't give a fuck uh, just in case anyone's unaware i i would fall into the category where people would get butt hurt about ableist jokes they said the nasty thing about the disabled person. So? <laughs> Look, I've, I've got my entire life having people say nasty things to me for one reason or another. And I don't care. That's just... That's humanity. We're starting to, we're starting to scream at people for being human. No one's perfect. You're not a god. The people putting, the people putting other people on pedestals and knock them the fuck down as I say, have probably said some of the most brutal things themselves. But they hold themselves to a different set of rules. It's, not, it's almost like, you know what? It's almost like they're trying to seize power for themselves. They're trying to big themselves up by knocking someone else down. If I don't like, say, a, a daytime TV presenter, right... I don't watch their show. I don't go and hunt them down and criticise them. I just don't interact with them. You have the choice not to interact with these people, but what if these people are the face of something? Eh. Just ignore their thing. Ignore their groove. I'm sure you've all had to work with someone you disagree with. I have to deal with people I disagree with every day. But it doesn't mean I can be a dick. You know? <laughs> That's weird that I, I've, I've said, look, you know, the, the whole point of this video is to say, actually, I'm, I'm jo I've am i joined the Free Software Foundation, but that this, this has nothing really to do with the, the Free Software Foundation, is it? It is, it's, it's cancel culture is as annoying as piss, and when will it stop? When will we stop worrying about the little labels that we give ourselves when we stop worrying about people criticizing us for our little labels when did we all get so soft <laughs> just leave people alone they might be crazy and until they start going around killing people or doing other really nasty things to people lay off <laughs> go and find something else to do read a book go and jerk off do something I don't know find something to occupy your time <laughs> and uh, it's just silly not everyone's not everyone's racist not everyone's sexist not everyone's homophobic not everything you see that you disagree with is one of those things either it's just not a thing you just disagree Stop making it more than it really is. Not everyone is against you. Please stop with the stop the cancel culture crap. And stop the double standards. Just stop it. It's <sighs> silly it's really really weird oh, i don't know where i'm going with it don't know where i'm going with it all that joining the free software foundation is is that I'm, you know you give them a small monthly donation i have no power in the free software foundation but just imagine just imagine in 20 years when i've got a long gray beard and i'm completely bold right just imagine this 
is the face of the Free Software Foundation. <laughs> That's the other thing as well. I think that like this, this this stuff is just kind of split off into too many different little things. Your politics doesn't matter to code at all until you start weaponizing things to use them against other people. But then that's what another thing that I appreciate that Stallman says: you can't choose what other people use your stuff for. Realistically, or you know, most most people, you know, if I write a piece of code, I can't say. You can't use it because I don't agree with your politics. Stop being dicks to each other. <laughs> he's back. You don't have to agree with him. The fact that he's back doesn't degrade what you're working on, what you're doing. Make sure that your work outshines everything else. That's probably ridiculous. This is not thought out well at all. I should, I should probably revisit this at some point actually give it some thought but there's loads of people out there that are just so many people jumping up and down people don't even remember why they're jumping up and down sometimes you'll ask for a reason and they just make shit up can you cite that nope we well, must have said it they'll attack someone for for saying something only to only for you to dig into them a little bit and find they've said near enough the exact same thing. One rule for one. Hmm. That's why I just don't want to be on this planet anymore. People are crazy. There's too many people with crazy ideas. You're never going to agree with everyone. You might be able to pick out 50 subjects you all agree on. And then that one thing crops up. But it doesn't mean that you can, you can hate everyone for it. And like I said, I just love the idea of everyone just being able to come together and, and get stuff done. Even if you disagree on something, you can still put in that time and effort that you would be using to keyboard warrior your way into into oblivion you could use that time and effort to just focus and get something really done make a difference if you see something you don't like you don't have to rage out about it all the time But isn't that kind of what you're doing here? Yeah, but I'm not telling anyone to... I'm not going after anyone's job. I'm not going after anyone's livelihood. I just don't understand it. Because I guess I come from a time when someone would voice an opinion and if people didn't like it, they'd be told to shut the fuck up. Tell you what, we'll start listening to you. you got, you've got your little sign your box thing. I want to see... I want to see just shy a billion names on the list. How many how many people have we got on the planet? Nine billion. Nine billion. Uh, give me roughly a, a a billion, and then we'll start paying attention. I'd say I'd say, I'd say you got enough people then to to actually mean that I should give a shit. <laughs> Until then, okay. I don't care. It's like when you start calling Jewish people Nazis. That's weird. <laughs> and when and when people of the LGB community L LGBT sorry, I missed out the T. That's gonna get me in trouble. Or did I? I can't remember now. It's when when folks of those groups start attacking other members of those groups for different opinions. Why? Stop. Just stop. Be supportive of one another. It's just You only have a short time on this planet. Come on, let's make it better for everyone else. <laughs> let's make it better for the generations that come after us rather than tearing it all down and being crazy. Hope you're well. I'm a member of the Free Software Foundation and I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one. Um, Cathedral in the Bazaar and... 
oh, what was that book? The, the, there was a, a book written with the aid of Stallman as well that talks about uh, free software and and uh, his views on where software should go and his ethics and all that kind of stuff. It's, 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 that's, a, that's a new one, but I can't remember what it is. It's got like, a bunch of collected essays. Um, I love books about computers in there. I just, I, I don't know. And and Bill Gates' book on climate change. It's no one person's fault. It's everyone's fault. <laughs> that one's a good one. Statistically, we're all bastards. And I love it. Oh, I love it. Just admit that you're all cunts and let's move on. <laughs> See you in the next one.